Hello there, I'm Catherine Gray from Enabling Enterprise and today I'd love to help you to create a great proposal for your next big thing. Now I've got six basic steps that are suitable for most opportunities and my perspective is as somebody who's written a lot of proposals, been successful for a few opportunities and who's also been on the other side of assessing these, of helping people develop them, of helping people assess them and of giving feedback. So I know quite a bit about both sides of the equation and I'd like to share some simple as insights with you. Number one is to scan the horizon. You've got a great project in mind and just look to see what opportunities there are there in your immediate context and further afield perhaps outside of your frame of reference. Get a sense of them, write down the deadlines and the information links and, um, and then you can sift through them in good time to consider whether they're good opportunities for you right now. So that brings me to number two, which is preparing. So delve a bit deeper into your opportunity. What guidelines are there? What are their objectives? Who's won them in the past? And um, gather all the information you can to assess really whether this is the right fit for you right now and what you want to do. And ideally, if you're not sure, or even if you are sure that you really want to go for this, contact them to talk with them about your ideas and get a sense of what they're after. Oftentimes they'll be able to give you some good insights before you even get started about what they're after and that could build a, a better rapport for crafting your great proposal. So you're preparing, you're nutting out the logistics and the timelines and doing your research for the budget. All of these things are really important for setting your goals and making it more viable. Um, you're updating your CV, you're checking out who you might want to work with and these are all really valuable steps whatever happens with this proposal. So number three is your support. Who do you want to work with that can really make your project happen? Who do you want to reach out to who might be able to recommend what you're doing and why? So they might be able to craft a support letter for you or be available as a reference, but give them good time to check in whether that's something that they want to do and to help them if they need it. And if it's people from another culture, make sure that you're really respectful about the cultural protocols of doing so. And with anybody, go through the right channels. So you've reached out, they might be busy, you might have a great template for how they can give you a, a whiz-bang support letter that's going to really kick the goals of the opportunity that you're seeking. These kind, this kind of support could also be in kind. They might have resources or time that they can offer to make your project happen or they might also have funds available that can really make your budget look way better and other ideas for how you can get your project happening. So reach out and this really makes a difference with a great proposal. So number four is to dazzle and really this is the whole point of it. You want to have the shiniest, most exciting proposal that you possibly can and likely you're probably going to have to write something. This may not be your forte but really practice at making it clear, compelling, tell a story as much as you can, don't use any jargon and get some feedback from people who know you and who might be able to give you some um, good tips to how to make it really resonate with the written word or pay someone who can help you to do that. So you've written a proposal most likely but there's probably also some other support material that they want to see what's so great about you and do whatever you can to make that really resonate. If you can do audio visual material, if you can do a little video of talking from the heart about it, if you can weave together past works or give a sense of what you're setting out to create, whatever you can do within the guidelines and within the time that you have is, is really valuable because you can use that for other things, for other opportunities, for sharing on your website, um, for gathering support along the way. So you've got your awesome proposal, you know that it's a good fit for this opportunity, just make sure you get it in on time, well on time before the closing day, before the closing moment, in case there's any technical hitches, and that it's on spec. So don't put in things that they don't want. So it's in, you're sitting pretty, you've 
if you've really thought out a great project and got some great support with you, it's all good, whatever happens next. So number six is what next? And here's hoping that you're successful and you're going to win that prize or that opportunity or show your work or get those funds. And that's awesome. Congratulations. And do a great job and acknowledge that support. Write the reports if you need to do so. Uh, but go above and beyond that and really own that achievement and that recognition and make sure you include it in your marketing materials and pass thanks to the people who have been involved in helping you get there. However, you may not have been successful and you know, most likely that's happened to most of us. And that's okay too, because really just even getting a proposal mean in means that somebody has eyeballed it, who's got new appreciation of what you do, and that helps build momentum towards the next opportunity. And it also means you may have an opportunity to seek some feedback about what you've submitted and how perhaps it could be better for future. So if there's a chance to contact somebody to get a bit of feedback, do so. Take it to heart as in a positive sense because it's really going to help you in the next rounds. And there's always other opportunities. So keep go back to that same step of scanning the horizon and preparing to rise to that next opportunity. And I'd be delighted to help you at any stop, step along the way. So in the meantime, I look forward to see you create connect and thrive. Bye-bye.